Hey everyone, today we have some more news about Assassin's Creed Origins, so let's just jump right into it. First off, the AC subreddit mod Tarol posted the control scheme for the game on Twitter, and if you guys want to check it out, a link will be in the description down below. Now playing this game, I can tell you the controls are way different than any previous AC game, and it does take a bit to get used to them. But I honestly don't mind the new controls, and the developers have even stated it does work better with the new combat system. With that said, Ashraf Ismail, the game director on AC Origins, did state, for people who really miss the legacy controls, we will have options to change the default settings. So there you all go, if you want to go back to the old controls, you can do just that, but I honestly do recommend giving the new controls a chance before completely ditching them. Speaking of Ashraf Ismail though, earlier today someone tweeted at him asking will you be bringing back multiple save slots for AC Origins and he simply responded with a thumbs up. Now this basically confirms they're coming back, Ashraf wouldn't respond to this if it wasn't, especially with a thumbs up, and I'm just so happy to see that they've been listening to all of our feedback. And last but not least, Kotaku posted an article a couple days ago going over 9 cool things that they noticed when playing Assassin's Creed Origins. They actually have some really interesting clips, like the one playing right now, where a hippo literally killed multiple crocodiles and acted like it was no big deal. Another interesting clip is this one where they hold down R3, which actually allows you to fast forward time whenever you feel like it. This is a feature in Watch Dogs 2, but you have to go to the main HQ, rest to a specific time, and then there's a pretty lengthy load time. Whereas AC Origins, you can fast forward whenever you want, and it only takes 10 seconds. And last but not least, puzzles will be scattered throughout the map, and this specific one is really breathtaking. I mean, it's not complex or anything like that, but it just looks amazing. From what I can tell, completing these will level up your character, and as long as all these are unique, I can spend hours playing these. Anyways, that brings us to the end of the video. As always, to stay up to date on everything Assassin's Creed, make sure to subscribe right here on UB Central. And thank you. We've always wondered what could happen if our crazy rabbits were unleashed upon the world of Mario. 